guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 4 of season 4 of How to Get Away with Murder. Uh, I do not know the title of the episode. I never do. Uh, but thing is that it has taken me a long time to do this. Uh, and I, I do apologize for, for, for that. But And I just want to let you guys know that I will continue with How to Get Away with Murder. It's just that things have been complicated and also I had to... I think... I think I'm doing way too many shows and sometimes I can't handle all of them I'm not gonna drop any show at the moment uh, so yeah don't worry about that but I do will tr I will try to get this video as fast as I can uh, this premieres on Thursday night so I will have it at least by Friday uh, afternoon they will be posted uh, as like that will be the most I can do. I think by Friday I can actually do it. Every single Friday. So, yeah. You will have it a lot fa faster than this week. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying my reaction videos. And if you are, please don't forget to give this video a big, big thumb th thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to see more reaction videos because I do reaction videos for a lot of shows. And also, if you are interested in becoming a patron, you can do that and you get exclusive and early access to a lot of things. Uh, like, for instance, I do early access for The Vampire Diaries, Game of Thrones, uh, Team Wolf, and Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And then I have some exclusive things like uh, reactions to... Um, to what? To bloopers from The Vampire Diaries. I will include bloopers for Teen Wolf and all the shows that I do. And that is going to be exclusive for Patreon. I don't know if How to Get a Wimmer has bloopers. I will check it out and I will make them available on Patreon. So if you want to uh, support me like that and support my channel, since a lot of my videos are getting uh, that the yellow icon for like a... Uh, limited or no ads in your video which it has it has cut cut down my earnings to half sometimes i think i'm making just like 30 percent of what what i used to make so it's really low and i wasn't making a lot so it's really hard <laughs> so if you guys want to continue supporting me so i can continue doing reaction videos you can pledge on patreon or if you can't you can also uh do a one-time donation, link for my PayPal me will also be in the description down below. And it also gives you access to one of the videos that I just mentioned. You just have to, you know... Well, with PayPal you send me with an email and I will reply with a link to whatever exclusive thing I have on Patreon. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna react to episode 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. And I don't know what... Oh, I want to know already. What the hell... Where is the baby? What happened to the baby? I don't think the baby is dead. It would be really bad if they killed the baby. But I want to know more. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Thumbs up, subscribe. And let's just begin with episode 4 of season 4. How to get away with murder. Putting the words together, is the baby, where's the baby and is he dead? They want us to think, they want us to think that the baby's dead. I see that clearer now. The baby's not dead. The baby's alive. For sure. Continue, Annalise. What you doing? This is a commonwealth of pets. Oh, woo! Whoa! Annalise? I'm not here to make a scene, I just need your help. She's a bag. You're not let me hire you back. And you? Will you hire me? You're still going through your divorce. Oh, so whoa. Make the record. You know that. She is good. As good as this show can get. If I don't, we call the truth. Hey, 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 this is good. This sounds good. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 it's good. She, she's good. You know she's good. Despite everything. She's amazing. Say that least. Come on. So much for trying. Again, Ted. Wait, what? Did he touch you inappropriately or something? Why? You just don't talk. Oh, no, no. Don't do this behind your boyfriend, please. I have an idea you're going to like. Oh, God, Bonnie. I hear. Okay, you can have a small team. Sure. 
as in just you. Oh, fuck off, this dude. Well, I wish you <laughs> oh, poor, poor Asher. Is his butt as nice as it looks? Oh, it's amazing. Sorry. Crazy hormones. Oh, what? Sorry. Anyway, I'm crazy hormones. And I want to hump everything. <laughs> hump her! Please, I approve of this. Oh my god. I have to go to work, so I don't have Asher. Hump her! Why? I just... <laughs> okay, she's a strange. Oh, don't be so full of yourself. He does have a good ass, though. We can't say no. You know how rare this is. I intern from Middleton, Michaela Pratt. Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! And Elise is right there. Awkward. I want you to. Okay, shut up. Okay, be it's professional. It's changing policy to take on my client has upped his ass due to the severe emotional distress that he has suffered as a result of your client's. <laughs> Wait, he has suffered severe stress. And he's asking for six million dollars. What? Oh my god! Should have married a fucking billionaire. Oh, Sir God, I will be rich. Why are you mentioning hard gross intoxication over the course oh, of the marriage? Oh fuck! We agree to six million by three p.m. tomorrow. For we file this with the courts in our effort to gain sole custody of the children. Oh my god! This is <laughs> we thought you'd say that. Oh my god! What a bitch! We could find you here this way. My reputation. I just want my kids. Then fight for them. Yeah, fight for them. Want your way off the bathroom floor. Yes! 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 Oh, yes! I approve! I approve! Let's kick him where it hurts. Yeah, in the nuts. I mean, where? I think he's the nuts. Did I ever tell you about the time he was going to run away to the West Village to be with his people? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I love it. And I knew what I had to the courage I needed to come out. Aww. And so I did. And you found Kenneth the Laurentis. At the same time. Another man's penis oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Too much information, oh, man. I mean, General, he should be in jail. Oh, shut up. Get up. Both you. I hate Nate. I don't care if he's right or not. I hate him. You want me to finish it for you? Took him to the box. Okay. I hate her. I don't know. What do you think, Miss Pratt? What does she think about what? Can you think of one reason why I'd help draft a lawsuit I wholeheartedly disagree with? Oh, this little pathetic bitch. Yeah. The whole little pathetic little bitch. Oh my god. You, you, oh! I feel so angry right now because they are making her like Oh my god! Oh, this like they are making an Elise. Even though she has already paid, they are putting her like she's a beginner and like making her like she has to make her way uh, through again and like stepping on her. I do not appreciate this. Do not appreciate this. Good morning, Michaela. Wait. Feelings for the good of the client. Really, do you bitch. Think you do that? I think you need to get off my elevator. Yeah, before you get knocked down, bitch. Hey, I'm sorry, but I will always love Annalise more than any of this ungrateful little bitches. Still think they're ungrateful. Oh my god! The baby? 
My student, oh. Wes Gibbon, who needed me the most. That is going to be her biggest died regret. Because I decided to take a drink. And it wasn't your fault. Those are your words at the disciplinary. People in AA, Soraya. Hey, okay, Just I'm sorry. Let her talk. Let her talk. This guy. Leave survivors with an ocean of guilt. He has a story as well. And I just wonder, could this be what's driving you to take on this project? Isn't it a healthy I'm way to, way to make cope with things? To grieve. Isn't it? Isn't she allowed to grieve like this? She needs to be aware that she's grieving because of this. I don't know. I'm not a liability to the university. Oh shit. There is she no fucked up. reason the board needs to know about this. Barry, please. Fuck! You do this on purpose. You have no children. You don't know what it feels like to lose them. No! She does know! She, she does know! Job. Hmm? She she used to be great. Now she's my grandmother trying to learn how to oh, do it. This little bitch, I hate her. She's been through a lot. Are you defending her? No, shut up! Oh my god! She's still hot, I'll give her that. Woo! She's a lesbian, I like her. Again? Come on, a little sympathy, come on. It was a mistake. I'm broke alone. I beg you for work. You guys needed to find balance. You might. I want to go down drinking. I'll be right there, right there. Aww. The elevator. Oh my god, Frank! Stop doing this. You scared the shit out of me. Whoa. I need money for still living here. That is the cash that he paid for the baby. Yeah. Baby, in that suitcase, don't you know that? Yeah. I just want to help. All you do is hurt me. Shit. He, he, you know what? I understand Annalise why she's upset. But I also understand Frank and why he had to, had a chance, like at least give it a chance, a try, to get her to take the money. I get both sides, you know. He's trying to, not to clean his conscience, but to say, this is what I did. You own whatever it is that you want to own and do whatever you want to do with this stupid thing that I did that cost you so much. And Annalise has every right to do exactly what she did right now. It's just such a messed up, co complicated uh, position to be in. You know it, girl. <laughs> Wait, that, 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 was, that was awful. Do you have cancer? No, no. don't do that. Hmm. See, that my son has here. Oh, oh yeah. Are we done? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> she laughs without even time. See how bad I blow it. You're gonna do fine. Oh my god, they're together. Oh, so. See you later. Frank. He already caught. Oh okay. shit. Yeah. You're gonna make an awesome mom. Uh, Stop. You are. Aww, this is so Can sweet. We not talk about no, I'm here for you. Aww, this is so sweet. Even though he's kind of a psycho sometimes, but. I used to ship them so hard before I started shipping. Wait, Wait. she's horny. Is it pregnancy hormones? I'm calling the judge. My baby! My husband's using his emotional. Um, I go to therapy. Oh, You're shut up. You're not but all here is you wasting my time. It's worth it. <laughs> my smoking gun. <laughs> I love Michaela. Sometimes when she's not, you know, bitching about Annalise. Oh my god. That's it. Wait, why? Why? I know who Sue is. We've come to so accept about your offer. You walk out with his balls. It's hard to have civil custody from prison. 
Yes, shake, bitch, shake. Depending he was and everything did change after you know the killings and you know the lies and all that uh, but then you did like there was a point back in season three when you when he was just there to try to win Oliver back and Oliver didn't want to be with him and it looks more like he was settling because he maybe felt like he didn't deserve to any be better which I'm not saying that Oliver is bad. I used to. I remember that I used. I, I didn't like the Oliver relationship back in season three a little, like because of Oliver. So, yeah, he's he's absolutely right, actually. What's wrong with you? Huh? Pick up the check, though. Yeah. Yeah. She did. Did yeah, she did everything? His mouth shut, or I dredge up my lawsuit against the university for breach of contract. Can I write you a check right now? Yeah, yeah, right now. No. Or it sounds like more fun. <laughs> True. But you know. <laughs> I love them. I'm happy to talk to the guys upstairs. What? Bitch! Yeah. Good to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's awesome! Bam, Michaela! She is still on the list, bitch. Oh God, are we doing this again? Yeah. You do not get to work here. Fuck off. Excuse me? You know what? Miguel doesn't own this company. What the hell? Get out, bitch. I've made a place for myself here. You are an intern! Shut the fuck up. I have a real mentor this time. Then continue. Again. Yeah. Living on the sh under the shadow. Me, yeah. Tegan, whatever woman you encounter next. Yeah. You True. You all to be the mother you was never was. Woo! Serving that tea. Take it, honey. It's hot. Sorry, but she's true. She's right. No. It's yeah, it is exactly that. Yes, it's exactly that. It's exactly that. Bitch. If Nate comes up, oh my god, I fucking hate this dude. Oh god. What did he say? Oh shut up! Nothing that has anything to do with you! Move! Oh god. Do not do this for me. Who are you doing for? For what? The client, everyone has been wrongfully accused. That's hilarious. I'm from the person who put my ass in jail. Oh, you know why? Go to therapy. She doesn't have to deal with his trumps. We know who they put in jail. You know that on the right side or anything. Oh! <sighs> this man irritates me so much. He's hot, and I can't even tolerate him for that. What? 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 Trent? Who? Is he gonna jump? I'm doing my job. I'm back on the crack, and it's called Annalise. I ain't here for it. Wasn't him the one who said, let's go after Annalise? Which is perhaps better for me. Why? The patient is a trigger for me. I need to be mindful. Why is she? My new patient just arrived. Why is she a trigger for him? Sarai is a new patient? Julie. Who's Julie? Me? Yes. Come in. Hey, Liz, you feel comfortable. Where's the baby? The 
the hell? Why is she going to the therapist there? Why is she there? What happened? <gasps> Crime scene? What the fuck? Why is Oliver there? Who got shot or killed? working and has something to do with Oliver again well not again because the first time when we had the whole mystery of who's under the sheet Oliver was one of the first one to be revealed as it wasn't him because he was at the crime scene with Annalise he delayed uh, the messages from Annalise's phone but he was there as well of course he hasn't done anything but now he's a witness for this who got shot? There's nobody, which means that whoever was there, and that happens as that counts as well for. Okay, no, hold on. No, it's still like that person could still be dead, right? Because the police is already there, so they that is how they proceed. If the ambulance was just there the body should have been there but since there's police officers there taking there was just blood there's no mark of a body on the floor marking where the uh dead body used to be so it could be that someone possibly connor could get shot or hurt and oliver is there as a witness we know Michaela is also safe from whatever happened that night. We don't know about Asher or Connor because we know there's something happened as well to Laurel and wh that's why she's at the hospital. Every single episode we go two weeks, like two weeks, the, everything that happened between one episode and the other is two weeks until the what is going to happen at the end of p probably the half uh, mid-season finale the f season four mid-season finale something like that so okay there's nobody in either of the two crime scenes there's nobody which could be that the person who was there survived and they moved them to the hospital or they are dead and they're on their way to the morgue uh that leave also at uh nate could also be but why will Nate be I don't know why I, I know why kind of because Nate even if you don't call him he appears out of nowhere like to remind Annalise all the bad things that she has done yes she has done a lot of bad things but she's not her, his therapist so if he has a problem by now there's nothing Annalise can do to earn his forgiveness because he just doesn't want to forgive her so go to therapy just you know work on your traumas Annalise has nothing to do right now in the, at this point to help any of these people, okay? So, anyways, the buddy or whoever it is. Now, Michaela did said he's dead, isn't he? Meaning that whoever in either of those two crime scenes, it's a man, the one who's dead. Could it be Connor? Could it be Asher? I don't know. It could be Nate as well. I pray the Lord is Ned. Ned? Nate. I hope that he's is him and it's not Connor or Asher. You know? But then you have the blood in the elevator. Well, you have one more crime scene that you don't know who it was the person who was in that elevator or now in this new crime scene so I don't know so there are two people hurt 
and possibly even, you know, um, Michaela's baby. Michaela's baby? <laughs> what? Laurel's baby. Wes's baby. So, um, it could be Frank as well. Because we haven't seen Frank. Frank could totally be the person who was in the elevator. Trying to protect Annalise. I just hope they don't kill Frank. I mean, they had the chance to kill Frank in the previous season. If they didn't kill Frank, I don't think they need to kill Frank right now. Now, Connor, in the other hand, will be really shocking if they kill him. I wouldn't want that. I don't want any more gays to die. But it could be him at least getting hurt. You know? And that is because Michaela will be upset about Connor or Asher. I don't think she will care about Nate or Frank. We have to take into consideration that as well. Now, the doctor keeps calling Annalise, which means... I'm gonna assume that whatever happened at the this new uh, corporate uh, building, whatever, where Michaela's working, Michaela was there with Connor and Connor, Asher, and Oliver, I'm guessing. And Laurel, Frank, and Annalise. Oh, but we saw Frank. What the hell am I talking about? We already saw Frank. Okay, it's not Frank. Fuck, I forgot, completely forgot about Frank. But it could be in the other one. It could be Annalise and Laurel. Annalise could easily be hurt. Because when Bonnie is calling the doctor, it's happened at the same time she is going in to see uh, Oliver. So, it's happening at the same time. And the doctor, the therapist, is with Michaela. How does he know that she's Michaela? I, that's another mystery. So, we will know, I guess. But this is getting way too complicated, and I hope that this twist and possible uh, uh, outcome of death or something is actually really shocking. Like I said, Asher will be shocking, Connor will be really shocking and really traumatizing if he, if he dies. I don't think they can kill him, I, I hope they can kill him. They kill Wes. So I'm not, you know what, I don't think they will kill Connor or Asher. Because then it will be the Kitten 3? Because they will be two of the Kitten 5 dead? Will the show be able to keep going with that? Especially if you're not adding new people into the team? I don't know. Could the show survive? I don't know. I think they took a lot and they changed a lot of things by having West death. Uh, at the end of the previous season. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't believe though that the baby is dead. Why? Because in the intro they made extra special care to put Laurel saying where is the baby to with Michaela's words uh, is he dead? He's dead isn't he? So putting the two together is just I think they want us to make us, like, they want to make us think that it was Connor, it was the baby, the one that died, but I don't, I don't know, I don't think so. I don't, now in my, my theory is going with, with Annalise has the baby and she's hidden somewhere, have to take into consideration that, um, Laurel's dad is still in play and he will actually try to hurt someone and kill someone. So yeah, I, I I mean, I'm really I, I'm really intrigued, you know. Uh, but leaving the whole where is the baby, what happened to the baby, and everything that happened at the end of the episode, we go back to this, and I I do understand. I, there's one thing that I don't I don't like is the fact that this therapist seems to go against Annalise. Feels like I feel like he has preconceived notions of Annalise and he's just trying not to let her talk but rather 
to make her like to drive the conversation into the way he wants to have you know the outcome he wants to have and I don't like that because um, in therapy even I think if you're in a in therapy because the core is act is making you go to the therapy still with all of that the therapist should dedicate their time to make it possible for her to open up yes she's a workaholic which there is no it's not a crime to be that she is hiding behind that and I do understand that the more she works and the more she puts herself out there and maybe when the time comes and she falls because of that her her falling down could be a disaster it can take her down uh, she could die because of that because she will relapse and nobody wants her to relapse I do get that but at the same time he's just He's not really helping her to open up to actually talk about all of this, you know? And that is just terrible. That is really sad about all of this, you know? Because Annalise, in my opinion, yes, she has done a lot of crazy things. She has done a lot of bad things in her life. Yes, they all have. You have to take into consideration that they all have. There was no reason for this to start the way it started. With Wes killing the uh, Annalise's husband, you know, and every, everything started because of that. Then because they wanted to uh, get away with the murder and doing all the things that they did and then Annalise trying to protect them from that. Then Asher killed the DA, then they had to come up with a plan to drop her from the thing and all the crazy things that they have done, they are responsible as well as Annalise. You don't, you can't tell me that these are just kids. These are young adults who shouldn't be around killing people, okay? So, yes, Annalise has done a lot of crazy things, a lot of bad things, you know, in her time uh, uh, being a lawyer and she has screwed people over and she has done a lot of illegal things to get her clients to to a better position and win the cases and all that yes you can blame you can put all of that onto Annalise and karma is a bitch and she has paid a high price for everything that she has done you know she lost her baby she lost Wes she has lost a lot the her husband, she has lost a lot of things in this process and now I feel like Annalise just wants to do things and now she has the idea that maybe she wants to take uh, revenge on the people that cover Wes's murder. I don't think she, she knows exactly what happened because I don't think Laurel has told her. Uh, I mean, I know that she didn't tell her, uh, but she's, I feel like she's trying to you know, work herself up, try to be her old self, try to be that person she used to be comfortable being, you know, like the successful lawyer to get her reputation back, to do, to strive for better. She's a really, really good lawyer. You can, you can say a lot about Annalise, but you cannot deny how good she is. And even the, the girl Tegan, I think that's her name, she knows this. And when she saw Annalise and when she had a, a contract, like, a, I'm sorry, she had a case where her client was going to pay six million dollars and she took, a, Annalise did everything she could to actually, you know, uh, um, take that down, got share custody and she paid just one million. Of course you want that shark that just did all that in your team because Michaela didn't do shit it was Annalise and Annalise you know she has done her time she is a really successful lawyer she's really good at what she does so of course they want to offer her a place there a actual place not an internship she wants she could be there and Michaela just coming at her saying you can you say we have to have a, a fresh start but actually, you know what? Annalise made herself be in this position and she has every right to work there if she wants. Michaela doesn't own this. She's an intern. 
and it was so good that Annalise finally, you know what, she read her right, you know? She was like, you want to find the mom that you didn't have, and that's why you put me in that position, why you're putting out T in that, in that position. When this fails, you will put someone else that you have to aspire to be. Yes, and this, Michaela should take this and actually learn from it, you know, and actually stop being you know, trying to be someone else and try and try to be herself and make a name for herself. Yes, learn from people who are, you know, in better positions than you are, who have a lot more time in this and, and they have more experience. Yes, learn. But she does look for the mommy in this situation. And I am so glad and at least finally stop receiving these slaps and actually slap her. Not literally, but she kind of did. So. And I'm glad I don't like when the kitten five, well, four now, when they go after Annalise and they blame her for every single little thing that happened in their life. No, they have to take responsibility for the things that they did. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Um, anyways, Nate, I hate him. I just, I hate him. Like, I hate him. I don't know if I can be a little bit more clear than this. I just don't like the guy. He's always there complaining about every single little thing. He believes that every single little thing is about him. Even when Annalise is being, it's about him. Like, oh my god, it's just so annoying. I don't understand how they can make this character so annoying. He's freaking hot. And that usually, for me, helps me get in touch and, and understand a character and actually like a character. I, I can't stand him. It's everything about him. What are you doing? Well, it, do you remember that you put me in jail? Yeah, she does remember. But right now, it's no longer Annalise's responsibility if, she still, if he still has grudges against her. He needs to work his own things. I'm not saying that what he feels is wrong. It's, it, he has every right to feel it. If he feels like that, if he feels betrayed by Annalise, if he, whatever it is, whatever trauma he has with Annalise, whatever feud, whatever bad feeling, he is allowed to have all of that. But right now, Annalise can fix that. Annalise is not going to go and ask for forgiveness every single time he sees, she sees him. She's not gonna beg for him for forgiveness that he doesn't want to give. So he either moves on from this or get a therapist and work on his problems and let things go. Or you know what? Don't even talk to her. I just, I can't get it. I just, I don't understand him. I just hate him so much. You guys know that the most hated character for me in all the shows that I watch is Paige from Pretty Little Liars. Nate? This is Paige, this is Nate. Like, he's so close to be the most hated character for me. He's just annoying, annoying as hell. Like, Annalise is not looking for him, and, but he comes in and he has a word to say, because why? Annalise has to hear from him all her life that she put him in prison. She doesn't, she did, she apologized, he doesn't want to take it, then there's nothing else Annalise can do other than move on with her life. Do you want her to cry every time he, she sees him? No, fuck that. He doesn't want to take it. He has every right not to take her apology. But he can't keep doing this. Go to therapy, man. Honestly, because I, I, just, I can't take him. I can't take him. Anyways, also, Connor. Connor is a really good point in this, in this whole episode because we met the dad. And yes, the dad is really right. Connor has changed so much over the course of these three seasons and he's no, he's no longer, he's so far away from that young man that we met on season one who was, you know, added like, just like, like, with, like Michaela who just strived for more, wanted to be better and just go at, at it. He, he, it feels like he just settled, doesn't it? And not just in his relationship with Oliver, because maybe he does love Oliver, maybe he does want uh, to continue his relationship with him, and right now they are in a good place, so I understand where he wants to stay, but in general, in his life, it feels like he has settled for whatever it is, for this normal thing that he feels, you know? And he, his dad was there saying, I used to admire you, since you were a little kid, you knew what you wanted, and now you have lost 
all of that. So also maybe it's time for Connor to get back to therapy and try to work things out and get to a better place, you know? Uh, because I like Connor, I like Connor. I didn't like Oliver that much in the previous seasons, but I like Connor a lot. So, a lot? Yeah, yeah, I like, I like Connor. Uh, and yeah, well, Laura having sex with Frank. I feel like Frank has that type of love for Laurel that it will never die for him and he will be there for her for whatever it is that she needs even for just sex since she's horny trust me she couldn't help herself when you are in that stage on the in the pregnancy is like you are I don't know 14 15 again with the hormones even worse because it just the hormones are just so crazy and this it's really crazy, so I understand why, why she's going at it like that. So, it's not unrealistic to think that what she's doing is just sex. Is the, the sex drive during the pregnancy is really crazy. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, what else did ha happen in this episode? The therapist, I still have, like, hmm, I don't know if I trust him or not. Probably, I'm not, I don't trust him, no. Mm -mm. So, yeah, we'll see more. Hope you guys... Uh, oh, also, there's a reason why the flashback has moved away from whatever conversation Frank and, and Laurel are having to whatever happened in the elevator and in the other place. Meaning that the conversation could easily go to calm down the babies with Annalise and that's why we're focusing on the other things. Because if they reveal more about whatever conversation Frank has with Laurel, then we will know where the baby is. Just say. Anyways, hope you guys. Uh, sorry. Hope you guys have enjoyed this reaction video. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to see more reaction videos because I do reaction videos for a lot of shows. And don't forget that I will continue doing reaction videos for How to Get Away with Murder soon, sooner uh, than I did this week. I hope you guys can forgive me for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video today, Sunday. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, like I said, and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more, and comment all your theories, thoughts on this episode. Do you guys hate Nate? Is there someone who hates Nate more than I do? Or do you guys love Nate and I'm the only crazy one who's screaming at him every time he shows up in my screen? Let me know that on the comment section down below. That's about it, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time for another reaction video for how to get away with murder. Bye, guys.